yeah, my personal feelings are, um, if you feel like something's happening and being violated and you feel some pain from it, or emotional pain or physical, stop, stop there and then. But go in to the pain of it. Go into the emotional pain, dive into the emotional pain of it. So, so a lot of times what we do is because we're having sex and there's part pleasure, part pain for many people because of these sexual injuries, often what we do is we try to grasp the pleasure emotion and try to push back the pain emotion. But the irony is that if you allow the pain emotion to come to the fore and be released, what's only left is the pleasure emotion. So just the way I see it is view every single time that that happens where you feel like crying during sex or afterwards, just go straight into it and really let it happen and, and don't worry too much about your partner. In fact, I would say don't worry <laughs> at all about your partner because they need to feel their own emotions of the law of attraction of that anyway. So like if you go, if you're crying afterwards as a woman and your partner's going, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? You know, that he needs to work through his own emotions about that. He needs to let you cry and let you connect with that emotion causally. So let you connect with that childhood event, generally, is the way to go. So you're right, though. If you just persist and try to push yourself through it, you'll find often that you don't actually get through it because the causal emotion is still there underneath the surface. And so the next time you have sex, a similar thing happens, or a few times day on the track, a similar things happens. And what we want to do is get away from that. What we want to do is get to the point that every time we have sex, it's just a blissful experience. But the only way that's going to happen is if we release the emotion that causes it to not be a blissful experience. I think the, it's a blurred line for me, maybe for others, at what point are we going into emotion? And is our fear of doing that because we're actually aware that we we're afraid of re-traumatising. Going into emotion is going there again, you know? Yeah. Whatever the emotion, whatever the emotion. So, I, I get confused as to whether I'm just making myself suffer more or yeah. actually healing that. Yeah. The, the key is they're going to be in the result. So a lot of times we won't know until we've finished feeling the emotion. And the key, the key is that when you feel the, after the emotion has passed, a feeling of peacefulness, and you feel your law of attraction change, then you know you've dealt with an emotion. Oftentimes though, what we're doing is we are in that fear place of trying to choose between, am I going to re-traumatize myself or not? The, tr the truth is I believe you cannot re-traumatize yourself unless you put yourself through exactly the same experience. So, in other words, if I was raped as a child when I was five, and then, I, then I'm in a sexual encounter with a person, then I say, stop, and he says, no, no, I ain't stopping, now I'm re-traumatising myself. Does that make sense? Because now I'm actually in a space where I am getting raped again. But if you say, stop, and he says, no worries, and he stops, go into the emotion and connect with that childhood event which will release it, that's not re-traumatizing yourself. That is actually releasing yourself from that emotion in the end. So allow yourself to experience that. Yes. Does, does your, can your soul actually control the amount of hurt that you can receive at one time? You know, will, it, will it look after you in that way? Automatically. You, you, your soul is totally incapable of harming your body with emotion, aside from when you deny emotion. So in other words, you can't die from experiencing your emotion. You can only die from the denial of the experience of your emotion. All right. Now that's quite confronting a lot of people. You cannot die from experiencing your emotion. You can only die from the denial of the experience of your emotion. So what's a heart attack? A heart attack is the denial of a heap of sadness which causes the suppression of all this area here across the heart chakra and eventually causes the clogging up of all the arteries in that area and eventually you have a heart attack. That's the denial, of, uh, that's the result of the denial of emotion. But a person who has heart problems, if they start crying, they're not going to harm themselves if they're crying about causal emotion. In fact, what they're going to do is free up the chest area, which actually gets everything operating properly and all of a sudden within a day or two you can find things a lot better. I've found, and I've told this to you before, parts of my body go into like deep pain because of denial of emotion, 
and then within two days of dealing with emotion be completely healed again. So if that's the case, you can do that with all parts of your body. What's the difference between a thumb and a and a you know kidney and a you know they all have a replication process of the cell structure, which is all based on your emotional condition. So if you let yourself feel the emotion, you will get into everything possible and heal yourself in the process. 